Hello and welcome back to our video series on your PLR makeover. Now in the next few videos we're going to take you by the hand and guide you through the process of transforming your PLR ebook file into a one-of-a-kind product. Now you're also going to learn a few other ways to repurpose your PLR content into income producing products. But first up in video 5 we're going to introduce you to a few tools that you just can't live without and that should be in your PLR makeover toolbox. Now that you've decided to create a product from your PLR content and you're going to get a domain name and web hosting, well you need to consider a couple of things prior to getting that domain name. But before we jump into that, I want to mention a few tools that might come in handy for you, especially if you're new to all this stuff or a novice or a newbie. Now if you're an experienced PLR makeover artist, eh, then you might have your other tools that you're already used to using. In which case, eh, just consider this extra info for you. Now, if you're going to be getting into PLR articles or ebooks, a couple of things you want to consider is having a basic text editor similar to the one that you have on your operating system. I think it's Notepad or, or WordPad. The one that you might want to consider in addition to that, and it's also free, is Notepad. Just jump into your favorite search engine, type in Notepad and the plus plus, and it'll shoot you over to this URL. Or you can just type in your address bar, Notepad plus. Dot sourceforge.net and that'll bring you to this particular URL right here because the rest of the stuff will just automatically pop in. Download this, it's free, a lot of bells and whistles to this, use it as much as possible because you're going to fall in love with this. Another one is you're going to find the need to edit Word documents because that's the other source file your or source format you'll be receiving a lot of your ebooks and articles in that are in PLR that is a text format and a Word document format. Open Office is similar to that of Microsoft Office, only free. Big difference. Now, then the product that we're going to be using out of this Open Office suite is going to be S Writer. That's the clone to the Microsoft Word, and you can just simply use the Open Office S Writer software to open up and edit your Word documents. And this is about two or three hundred megabytes, so that's really the only expense you're looking at is a little bit of time to download the software. You're going to fall in love with it. Trust me on that. So check this out if you haven't already done so. And one other thing too about the S Writer, you'll be able to from within that software export your document into a PDF be able to secure it, lock it up tight so nobody's going to be able to screw with your output. And again we'll go over that in an upcoming video possibly even later in this video. And as far as any of your HTML editing needs, Composer. Composer.net, that'll bring you to the home page, then you just come on over to the download here and download not the unstable version, but just scroll down a little bit here and download the 7.10. An awesome HTML editor, lots of bells and whistles, and again you cannot beat the price. Now if you, de if you decide to convert any of your text documents or ebook PLR content into an audio product, which by the way, I would suggest to do so because you're not limiting yourself to just one ebook. If you've got an ebook on under PLR, it doesn't matter that you can it doesn't mean you can only create an ebook. You can create articles with that. You can create uh audio uh, products and not just one you can modify them in multiple ways the only limitation here is your own imagination so go to town you can make as many audio products as you want out of the one PLR content uh, you can make as many articles as you want out of the one PLR content you can make as many ebooks as you want out of the one PLR content you're not limited of course unless of course the license says you are but rarely have I ever come across that but if you want to uh, get into the audio, here's your product, here's your software, audacity.sourceforge.net. Audacity can be used by you simply reading into your microphone the ebook content, and you can use this to edit out the uhs and all the dogs barking in the background and any of the other parts of your finished product that you want it to sound professional. Audacity is your tool, at least ways as far as the cost, you can't beat it. You can also use Audacity to simply add background music, fading in, fading out. A lot of cool stuff you can do with this, and we'll cover this in a little bit in an upcoming video. And as far as PLR videos, you can use Windows Movie Maker to do any of the adding of the title screens or any minor editing. This is free and more than likely already has been installed on your operating system. Just do a, uh, well, heck, just go to your start button, click on all programs, and it looks like this. Got a little icon like this. Now, this, I'm in XP, so if you've got Vista, it might look a little bit different, but basically it's the same thing. 
It's free, heck, for that matter. In most cases, you've probably already got it on your machine. You may not even know it. But you can use this to do some minor editing of your PLR videos. Now, if you're going to get into PLR software, I'm going to suggest hiring a programmer. And unless, of course, you have a solid background in any kind of uh, programming coding, Otherwise, head up those two forms I mentioned earlier, the Digital Point form or the Warrior form, and just put in a, th a thread there regarding PLR software and what you want to do, and you'll be surprised what kind of input you get. A couple other spots, elance.com and guru.com. A couple of other outsourcing places you can check into to have your PLR software edited for you.